Hello everyone, welcome to day 4 of Tableau 30 days challenge and in today's video we are going to spend some time understanding you know about data preparation in Tableau. So we are going to create a sample file and we will connect to that in Tableau. But before that let us quickly take a recap of what we have learned yesterday in our previous class. We have discussed about a Tableau repository, you know the place where you have all the important folders which are related to Tableau that helps in running your Tableau efficiently. And next we have learned about Tableau workspace. Like we understood what are the important components of Tableau, how we can categorize that and all. So let us now get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm going to first let us create a file and then we'll open our uh, Tableau and then we'll connect. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a, I'm going to create a simple file of format called as .txt and I'm taking two columns maybe employee name and salary and I'm writing few entries here. Okay. So remember this file because later on again, we will be using the same file to explore different concepts of uh, Tableau. So I'm creating a file with maybe five entries here, okay. And I'm going to save this file, okay in the location I want. It is not mandatory we save in the default location. I'll simply save it in the folder where I have all the important files here and I'll write it as a sample text file. Okay, so we have saved it. Now I'm opening. So once it is done, I'll open my Tableau again. So just double click on the Tableau icon that is on your desktop or you can open it from your run also. Once that is done, this is the, once you double click, this is how the page will open. Okay, and you need to select, you know, where is your file. So first thing is you need to understand where your file is. So what is the, first identify what is the type of the source you have. So our source uh, is of type text file. So I'm going to connect to a file option. Under that, I'm selecting text file because my source is of text file option. I'm clicking on that and it will ask me to locate that file. So if you observe by default, it is going to the standard repository location. But again, like I said, it is not mandatory that we save it here. You can use it from anywhere that is in your system, which has access to. If you do not have access, maybe it will, it will not be able to read the file, but because it is local system, you can simply connect and use. So I'm going to the folder where we have just saved the file and this is where it can read. So I'm just clicking on that, click on open. And this is your data preparation layer, I would call, or we can simplify, okay? So we'll, you know, understand in detail about this, you know, in a while, but for now, just understand that I've connected to this file or for now I'm just removing this, okay? So this is how your, you know, simple data source pane looks like, okay? So at the bottom of the screen, you can see data source. It has the information related to your source. All your SQLs that you want to write, you know, the query results that you want to see, all that you can do it from here you want to establish joints, all you can do it from here, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm simply taking this text file. So where is this text file? Again, if you remember, it is in the location where we saved that. So in that, it is trying to lead that. So if I simply drag and drop, I'm doing a simple operation called as a drag and drop, this is simple drag and drop operation. What it is doing is if I try to relate it with the tab or uh, SQL, it is trying to generate a query called as a select star from 
sample text because that is the name of the file here if you observe okay sample text file so it will generate or trigger this query and it will return the results according to that so this point you need to understand so always try to correlate correlate or try to you know generate a sql for the visualization that you are trying to add in the view that way you will be able to improve your sql language also because you now while validating the data also against your database you might require this database skills okay now see here this is actually divided into two screens here on the left side it is all about metadata like say what is the file name field name or what is the remote name or what is the data type it is all about that but on the right side you are seeing the data in that so this is actually preview of the data okay preview of the data like say here it is showing five records by but it is it's a sample records like say same thing if at all i want to do it in my database i'll write maybe you know limit to or limit three or limit five something like that because to understand the data we don't need the entire records to be executed we just need sample data so that we can see which column has which data or what data like that so similarly i just want to know you know what e name contains or what sal contains so by seeing this i will know okay this has some information related to names and this is something related to salary like that okay so now once you are happy about this page maybe now you see here it is giving us a, a hint that okay you can go to now worksheet if you feel whatever you have here is complete okay so let us go to that and now this is our worksheet area where we have access to our data source now you see here sample text file we are connected and all the list of columns or whatever we have are visible here now one question i want to find i want you guys to find out today is try to find out what are the default fields that will get created whenever you are connecting to any data source okay so this is important very important thing now if you see here if i go to data source we have two columns we have employee name and salary but when i'm coming to sheet you see some names measure names measure values like that so these are the default fields that are getting created every time you connect it to any data source okay so now what i'm doing is i am taking simple drag and drop operation i'm doing okay let us try to create a simple view okay and you can do that in three ways okay either first method is either you can drag it e name and salary first method simple drag and drop method okay so i'll view creation first method drag and drop okay second method is you can also double click that so i'm just removing them again if at all you want to remove them from the view simply remove it or drop it in any empty space that you want and you can again double click okay so it is giving us some view okay now observe here again i'm removing this what did i do here i have double clicked on e name okay it went into row shelf okay again i'm double click on salary it went into label here okay but now what i'm doing is i'm double clicking on this salary part okay it created something like this and if i double click on e name it has created bar chart okay now based on what you are selecting first tableau will identify and based on that it will try to create the recommended chart okay again it is not mandatory that you know you should use it this way only whatever you feel convenient whatever you feel easy you can simply follow that okay but this is the second method of creating a view i, I was just showing you so second method is double click 
third method is you can also use an option called as a type in shelves okay so just double click here in the columns or rows wherever you want and it will start asking you to enter the field name now you see we are getting a cursor there if i start writing any alphabets or letters it will suggest to me what are the fields that i have see here you can ignore anything with f f states that it is a function okay but abc states that it is a field so if i click on that and hit enter you will get that field in the view same likewise i want my salary in rows i can just simply enter salary hit enter you got that okay so you can do it this way also so this method is called as a type in shelf okay i hope you are clear about this and now before we proceed further i just want you just want to explain what are the different parts that we have in this worksheet okay so that later on again when we come here it will be easy for you to understand so this worksheet we can we have some important parts here so this is your main workspace or work area so you see here drop field here drop field here drop field here and all so whatever the chart or visualization that you are going to create that will be in this space this point you need to understand and to help that we have some important components one is columns rows okay so the terminology here maybe we can call it as marks shelf filter shelf and page shelf so we have five important components here okay so columns and rows are to organize your data just to simplify okay column and row column shelf and row shelf are to organize your data marks shelf is to optimize or increase the readability of your data okay or your customization or you can do that from marks shelf okay so you have color customization size text tool tip all of that you can do it from your marks shelf okay so let us try to you know write that so that we remember so important components of worksheet okay so first one is uh, we have a row shelf or i'll simply write rows columns third one is mark shelf fourth one is uh, filter shelf filter shelf is nothing but simply if at all you want to restrict the data then you can use filter shelf page shelf is again just to categorize your data into uh, pages or if i take the example of book okay so a book will have 1000 pages right but if i ask you what is that you are reading you will tell that okay i am reading you know something or uh, page number 20 or page number 30 like that which means even though you have thousands of pages available at a particular time or at a particular point of time you will only be reading one page right Sim similarly if at all you want to focus only on one point of one point of data something like that so in that situation you can use a page shelf okay but from developers perspective this first four are very important for us in every worksheet that you are going to create you will be using this okay so that's about the components important components of a worksheet here so try to remember this because this is what we will be using in and out every day okay so now to explain again another thing i'm going to worksheet here and i'm just simply now observe here sample text file you observe this and if i try to drag this employee name and drop it here now there is a tick mark on sample text file this indicates that this connection is now active okay or this connection is now being used okay so if i remove it you see again there is no tick mark which indicates that this connection is not active now but when i pull it it means it is active now now if at all i want to convert this into a sql query how will i write okay so simply i can go here i'll write it here select e name from sample text file because 
that is what we are using that is the only column that we are using here we have limited columns but in real time when you go and try to you know explore that you will have you know many columns so we'll come to this uh, data set that tableau has provided but before that i wanted to show you this okay now if i try to bring in this salary into the view it is sum of salary right now how will i convert this into my sql same thing if i simply copy this maybe i'll write it in the next line employee name and it is sum of salary from sample text file group by e name so this is the sample query that is getting generated with these two things now you you can like say i have said that you know rows and columns are to organize your data right i have said that okay maybe some con might contradict you know why, why are you telling like that and all so this is just to you know ease you the understanding okay so let us uh, try to add meaning to whatever we have said just now to organize the data i'm going to the view now see here we have in columns we have name and in rows we have salary but there is no thumb rule that it should be here only it should be here only okay maybe you know in my view or in my client's expectation this view will suit me but for some this might suit or for some you know this might look good okay so it all depends on how they are visualizing their dashboard it is very important that you know you visualize the data and you visualize the dashboard design and according to that plan you are creating your worksheets okay so some might keep it like this because they want it in this format or you know maybe i will put it like this because i want it this way and i i feel this will look good in my dashboard but it might not look good to others so it is all you know person to person project to project and requirement to requirement but like i said you can organize however you want in the view okay so just see which type of layout will you know look best in your dashboard design and based on that you can follow that okay so that is why i said rows and columns are to organize your data okay so i'm again removing this and again i'm removing this we are back to where we were now suppose you don't need this file anymore and you are not using it because you know and you want to delete it from the view how we can do that you can simply click on this right click on this and you have an option called as close this will delete the data source from the view but before doing that make sure no other sheet in the view is connected to this data so otherwise all of that will get impacted because here we have only one worksheet that we have created it is not impacting anything but when we have multiple worksheets you need to make sure none of that none of them are using this data source for their visualization now see here i am just trying to use it here okay but i am not using it here but if i try to right click on this and if i try to close it will ask me like you know when you close the sample text file the data source the following will happen sheets that use the data source as the primary data source will be deleted so all of them will become invalid okay so click okay now i have deleted here okay everything is gone here and here that sheet is also gone okay now if at all you want to get that back you can simply hit control z you will get back that see because tableau has one very beautiful option called as undo button you can go back to you know your previous steps and see what you have done from developer's perspective this is one of the very very handy things that we might need because often we test multiple calculations multiple visualization to see you know which is looking good and all and while doing so we sometimes realize okay are whatever i have done earlier was working good for me i want to go back to that so in that situation this control z will work you know very effectively
okay so you can get back your calculations you can get back your deleted things and all so we have just deleted this sample text file right again we got that back by simply entering or hitting control z button that that way you can use it okay so again i'm closing it here but this time what we'll do is we will connect it to the data source that is provided by tableau and we will understand what are the options we have okay so first exercise that we have done was we have created a simple text file and we have connected to worksheet and we have created a simple view that is one simple task that we have done today now again what we are doing is i'm connecting to uh, sample superstore the data source that is provided by tableau to explore and we'll see you know or we'll spend some time in at data preparation layer okay so i'm connecting to data so you can also connect from here or you can go back to here anything so if i click on this again i'm coming back to the same page so click on connect to data and you can choose whatever you want okay so i'm connecting to sample superstore so i'm clicking here so by default you know it is directly coming at this page okay but i am going to data source to understand how tableau is preparing the data so for now let us remove all of these different tables okay i don't want that so we'll learn about this at a later point but for now we will remove that from the view now see here like say like i said on the left it is about the metadata of the table so orders is the name of the table and under that sorry under that we have different columns we have order id order date and all and on the right side it is giving us the preview of data now you see by default it is giving us 100 rows but how many fields we have in total we have triple nine four rows in this table okay like i say if i say five here it will show five records for me sample five like i said that is why i have written limit five here so we are limiting the number of records we want here because this is a data preview layer or a data preview layer thing and we will see here or observe you know what is the data type what are the different fields available you know how is the data is there any you know data glitches and all like say suppose here ship date here is there so so we it is common expectation that you know date is expected but you know you're not getting date field here you are getting some ship mode information in this field so that type of information you can see and you can check with the business whether it is right or not or if they need any corrections and all like that okay so you can scroll to the right to see what are the different fields that you have in that particular table okay and here all of the different columns okay so i have it is clear till now now on the top of each thing here if you see here this is the order id this is column name okay i'm coming from the bottom this is column name this is the table name orders and above that is the data type so for the first time we are you know talking about the data types okay so data type table name field name or column name so that is how you need to remember here but whatever is there here you can either change it or you can use it as it is okay so order id is there like assume you know some customers are requesting you that you know rahul you know i don't need order id but instead of that i want that to be order name i can simply double click that it will you know edit here itself and you can write order number so we can do this type of changes at this level itself okay or suppose you want to change the data type suppose order date is there ship date is there you know customer is ex also expecting the time stamp for each order date okay so if you see here this is calendar symbol it indicates that this is a date type of field abc indicates that this is a string in the nature okay so we have talked about the two data types so i'm going to write it here so if any one of you needs this file do comment in the comment section i can give you the access first one is string data type second we have seen is a date data type 
so third one is now see here like i said i want our client is expecting time here along with the date so i can simply click on this see here by default it is a date okay by if i change it to date and time you are also getting a time stamp for that particular date okay now in tableau we have two date types one is date without without time and the second one is date sorry and time data type so based on your need you can use the data type accordingly if you are expecting a time stamp then you can use date and time otherwise if it is you can use date type date data type okay so here because we do not have the timestamp in our actual source also that is why it is giving us the default timestamp for all of the dates here okay so that point you need to understand but if there was any timestamp associated to this particular date in our actual source then that would be enabled here okay so for that we always need to check what is in the source and what is that we are getting here that way you will be able to you know confirm that okay whatever i have in my source we are getting that okay so i'm changing it back to our actual data type so two things we have learned one we can change our column names here itself if at all we need we can also change the data types if at all there comes a requirement okay now if i'm i'm going to again on the right side to see if there are any things now see there is a globe symbol okay so here country city state postal code and all so this is called as geospatial data or anything that is associated with your latitude and longitudinal information so we call it geospatial data so these days you are seeing charts on the india graph or you know or the country map and all so that we are getting because you know we have latitude and longitudinal information about that and that is why when you use that automatically that will be converted into map chart okay so so when business is giving you they'll give you a file and then you can use that to identify the latitudes and longitudes of a particular thing okay so again on if i scroll it to the right side hash is symbol hash is a measure here in tableau or any reporting tool you take this is measure the fifth data type is a measure which is represented by hash symbol so anything hash you see it is a number be it your integer string integer float or whatever it will be simply related it will be simply it will simply have hash okay so rest this we will discuss at a later point of time okay so it is actually called as group okay so when we discuss about group we will talk about that so that is about the data types here okay so now we have learned about this now suppose this is my actual order number right but now say assume client wants only country code which is the first two letters of my order number or maybe he needs only year which is you know somewhere in the middle or he might actually need only number which is the last part of this particular order number how can i get that so to get that you have direct options that are available here you can simply click on this okay click on the arrow mark you can either rename this or you can also reset it if i click on reset we are getting back the actual name of that particular field okay or rename it you can do that so i just want to split this i'm clicking on this and i'm clicking on split so let us see what will happen okay where did it go okay you see once i created that split it has created three fields for me okay order id split one order id split two order id split three maybe because we have done it twice we got it 
again you know it, it duplicated that four five and six okay so i'll just do it one now we have three okay so when we have used that split option tableau automatically identified what is the delimiter that is available in this field and based on that it has splitted that field into multiple fields and automatically it has also renamed that order id split one split two split three but again if at all you want to change it according to your convenience you can do that as well just double click on this and you can change it okay so you can change whatever the name you want now here it is only country code it is only year it is only number okay so if at all again you want to delete it you can click on this because you don't need it you can delete it or i don't need this also i can delete it that way i can use effectively or i'll delete this also but instead of that you know instead of creating multiple fields and and then realizing that i don't need a few fields from that and deleting them we also have an option called as a custom split click on this and you have an option called as custom split so in this we can actually decide you know which column we need okay so the first thing that we need to do is we need to identify what is the delimiter in this okay so hyphen is the delimiter i'm passing that to identify and how many we need so first one column let us see what will be the impact of this if i click on this so when i did that you see it is giving us country code because it has split it from the left here okay it has split it from the left but same likewise if i again i'm just doing this going to custom split i'm clicking on hyphen but this time what i'm doing is i'm selecting instead of first i'm selecting last one column let us see what will be the result now okay click okay now again it created one more field if i go back here you see order id split two so it is giving me the actual order number okay so last will split from the right side first will split from the left side so you need to understand that okay so first and last two options we have so instead of one now what i'm doing is i'm just uh, selecting two so before i do that i want to delete it so uh, same click on this custom split click hyphen so first two i'm selecting here i want to see what will be the result click ok now if i go to the right side so it is splitting first two split uh, fields one we are getting country code and we are getting year likewise if i do last two you will get last two fields okay so this thing you need to understand how it is trying to split and how it is working on both left and right right side or first and last now what i'm doing is i'm going to a specific field called as region okay and i'm clicking on this and i'm clicking on aliases yeah alias means what you know having a substitute name for that particular field now say you know user has said that you know instead of central they don't want central they want that to be c okay east is e for me south is s for me west is w for me click okay now see here star indicates that it has access now see here our actual fields are renamed with these names okay so this indicates that this is an alias this is not the actual name so the same thing you can also do it with the calculation but here we are directly doing it okay and again suppose you want to remove it from the view or uh, you want to remove the aliases you can click on this go to aliases and simply clear aliases you will get back the actual value of that particular field click ok that way you can add aliases or remove aliases from the field okay so second thing that you need to understand so we understood about the different data types that are available we understood how we can change or rename data types and field names we have understood about you know the custom split option and we have seen about the aliases now next thing is you know when we are connecting to any table in the real time you know it is not mandatory that all, 
all the fields that are available we are using that okay so we might use some of them we might not use some of them it depends like say you are running a query on top of millions of records okay and you are running this query select star from table name now you can tell me is this query efficient or select e name comma salary comma department number from table name so which is efficient here so the second query is always efficient compared to the first one because he are uh, here we are specifying whatever the columns we need and tableau is directly going there and fetching the information likewise whatever the information or the columns that are available in tableau we might not need that okay so when we don't need that we don't want to bring that into tableau and we can thus increase the performance of tableau how can we do that suppose at a point of time after creating dashboard i realized you know i don't need this region name because i'm not building anything using that so i can simply click on that and i can hide it now when i hide it if i go to my sheet you will see that it is not available see it is not there same likewise but if at all i want to see what are the fields that i have hidden i can click on this and show hidden field option is there you can click on this you see these are the different fields that are hidden if you remember region we have you know hidden just now so i can again click on this and i can click on unhide so you got that field back that way also you can do so all the unnecessary fields you can remove it from the view this is called as a data cleansing activity where we do this to improve the performance of our tableau workbook like i said we don't want to bring in all the unnecessary things into tableau and trouble them right so we can bring in only what is needed to us and we can build a visualization on top of that that way you can do here okay so remember this option hiding and unhiding very important okay so now observe this line here okay about discount and below measure names so earlier they we used to have a subheading called as a dimension and measure but here in tableau after you know the latest releases uh, releases we have only a line that is left now so what does this do so when you are connecting to any table or file tableau broadly classifies the data into two parts so this is something that you need to remember till the end of the time okay that is dimension and the second one is measure okay so tableau will broadly classify the data into two parts dimension and measure anything that is a string in nature anything that cannot be aggregated all that will be classified as a dimension and anything that is numeric in nature anything that can be aggregated is classified as a measure now see here i am just trying to bring in the ship mode which is of a string type and if i put my cursor or somewhere here you see we are getting names dimensions and measures which means anything above that line is being treated as a dimension and anything below that line is being treated as a measure now observe the difference how you know tableau is trying to find out if i am trying to build or bring in ship mode what is happening okay it is creating a header three properties i am trying to list out for dimension and measure dimension that is string in nature again you can you know update the definition of dimension and measure according to your understanding just to use a simple jargon and to make the understanding easy i'm just using this dimension is a string in nature and second point is it cannot be aggregated sorry it cannot be ag aggregated and it creates headers so three properties we have we have talked let us see those three okay we'll also see about measure and then we'll observe both of them in the view measure first one is numeric in nature it can be aggregated and the third option is they create 
axis. Okay, so three three properties for both of them. Let us see practically. We have taken ship mode, which is a string in nature, and I've dropped them into the view. What did it do? It did not aggregate and string in nature, two properties. Okay, so we have answered that. Okay, string in nature cannot be aggregated. Tableau is automatically identifying that and it is creating headers, our third property. Likewise, now what I'm doing is I'm removing this and I'm taking sales here, which is our measure. And when I try to bring that into the view, what is happening? Sales is getting aggregated as a sum of sales. So what did we tell here? Numeric in nature, yes. It can be aggregated, yes. They create axis. Now see here, it is creating an axis. Now to make a view complete, I'm simply adding ship mode here to the view. Okay, a dimension with a measure is always a complete information. If I tell like say only Rahul, so with the name Rahul, what do you understand? Whether he is a boy or whether he is a kid or he's an infant or he's an old age, we don't understand. But if I'm adding a numeric value, like say age, okay, and I'll tell that, okay, he's 28. Then you will understand, okay, Rahul is a young guy like that. So what is that it is doing? A numeric value is always adding an important information to that particular dimension. So that point you need to understand how this dimension and measure support each other in their journey of data. Okay, so I hope you are clear till now. If yes, do it uh, a thumbs up or you know give it a comment and you know, do let me know how are you feeling about this 30 day challenge. And uh, I think, yeah, I think that's it from my side for today's session. We'll continue uh, the next discussion, you know, uh, in, in next day on the next day till then bye bye and have a good day so do comment your comments i know and you know share it across your friends who are willing to learn tableau and who are willing to take up this challenge you know i hope this will help them a lot till then bye bye and have a good day